So first things first is when we uh, get into the whole poetry section, we need to just open our minds and we need to approach it in a quite logical way because when it comes to literature, we tend to go at it in a kind of a roundabout fashion. So when we introduce poetry, the first thing we should do is we check for our theme, we look at our intention, and we look at our style, the diction, as well as the tone, mood that is being created, the form of the poem, which is also our structure, which is another word for that. Um, and then we also look at imagery, rhyme and rhythm. Yes, poetry also uses rhyme and rhythm, just like music does. And then we also look at the symbolism attached to the poem. Okay, so when we approach poetry, um, I use the, the SIFT method um, to approach any poem that you will face, whether seen or unseen. Um, so the easiest way to approach this is to just go through these steps and then you will be able to uh, summarize, uh, give the intention, the form and the technique and tone used within your poetry. So when you look at the S that you will be looking at first, you are going to just summarize what is happening in your poem. So what is it about? So you're going to ask yourself the what question. So what is it about? What is happening? And then what is being said? Then we'll look at the intention, which is our I. It's very important to look at the intention when one studies any form of literature, as the intention tells us the why. Okay, so it tells us why was the poem written. So usually we ask, what is the purpose of the poem? Is it there to communicate something? Is it there to highlight something? Is it there to just show us or to elaborate on a specific thing. Then we look at the form. That is our F. So that's usually my step one when I approach a poem is to just look at what it actually looks like. What is the structure? We can look at our line lengths. And then we also look at our stanzas. And we can also look at just the general form of it, what it looks like. So say for instance, you have those poems that have different lines, maybe they communicate something to us. And then in that way, it also adds to the form. Okay, so uh, then with our T for the, is for the tone. Okay, now this is how. How is it being said? Um, is it a passionate tone? Is it melancholic? What is being said through the emotions? And when we look at the emotions within words, this is what we call the connotations. And this also links back to our choice of diction as well as our punctuation and this definitely adds to the rest of the poem which in effect links us back to our theme.